in terms of um, the use, perhaps not so much in New Zealand, but, but in the Pacific um, and with their upgraded guns, were they used uh, solely as an offensive weapon, do you know, or was it close support with the, the ground troops? Usually close support. The three inch, for instance, is called the three inch close support. Um, there's a very, very interesting story. I was told by an old guy in Wanganui, uh, and I haven't seen him since. I, I would imagine he'd be well gone now. And he was saying that they had a line of tanks going in on this in Ireland, of course, which became Green Island after that. They had a line of tanks going into the uh, operation against the Japanese, and um, they had infantry working in behind them and out to their flanks. And one of these infantry guys got shot and fell over a log. Uh, the tank, one of the tanks ran over the log and flipped him. He came through the air and landed on the back of the engine compartment as in a wounded condition. And this guy who was in the other tank, and he was the loader operator, so he was a radio operator and a loader, got on the, on the radio and said to the guy in the tank, hey, you've got a wounded soldier on your back um, engine covers. So the guy put it in reverse and backed out of the battle age, uh, area. They took the soldier off and went back into the battle again, and apparently the guy survived. Incredible. So... Not a, I don't know whether he had a, a pilot's license to do the flight, but uh, he survived. And I thought that was a great story. And that's actually documented. Right, right. So that's, yeah. that's quite cool. So that's offensive cool. and ambulatory as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. right.